if you have a WordPress website and you have a contact form on it, then I'm sure you know how frustrating it is to get all these spam emails in your inbox. So today I'm going to share you a plugin which I'm using from the last few weeks and I am getting almost zero spam emails now. So what is this plugin and how it's helping me to avoid these spam emails? Let's find out in this video. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we talk about everything related to WordPress and we create videos related to WordPress like this one. So if you want to watch more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Alright, so if you have a WordPress website and maybe a corporate website, maybe e-commerce or any type of website and you have a contact form on that then surely sooner or later you will start getting spam emails and to be very honest it's really frustrating to see all these spam emails in your inbox so recently i switched to a plugin for my contact forms and that plugin is working amazingly well in avoiding all these spam emails so let's dive in, in the wordpress backend and i'll show you what plugin i'm using these days so this is my old contact form which i have on my wordpress website so I'm I, am, I recently created a video where I switch my website from Elementor to Gutenberg. You can find that video in the I button above. And in that video, I have used this native Gutenberg form to create this contact form, but it got no security, no spam filtering and nothing as such. It's just a flat form which can just capture inquiries and send it to my email address. But soon I started getting a lot of spam emails and that is very normal when you have a WordPress website, these bots and malicious scripts are constantly searching for online forms and they just go in the back end and fill up these forms and send it to be filled in your inbox. So recently I started using WP forms on all my websites and it's working pretty well. I am not getting any spam emails now. So let me show you how I actually configured WP form on my WordPress website and then recreated this contact form on my site and how I am avoiding all these spam emails. So once you do the purchase of WP forms and if you want to check out their plans and offers, I will leave a link in the description below. So it will land you on a offer page and most probably if there is any coupon code available, I will also leave that in the video description below. So you can go ahead and check that out. And if you go in their pricing plans, they might look a little bit on the higher side, but most of the time they are running some offers. So do check out link in the description below and I'm sure you will find some great value out of it. So this is the backend of my WordPress website. I have already added WP form and I have the pro version. So I have already added the API key for that. So this is the WordPress backend of my website and I already have WP form installed and as I am using the pro version, so I have already added the keys and all, all that setup is done. So in order to create a secure form, we need to go to settings and here we can turn on capture. So that will add a extra security layer on our forms. So I already have my site key and secret key added here. So you can go ahead and visit the Google reCAPTCHA website and create your own site key and secret key. That's a straightforward process. You can easily do that. So once you enter your site key and secret key, you just need to click on save changes. And that is the step one to create a safe spam free form. You can also use edge captcha. So it's very similar to Google reCAPTCHA, but I would prefer to use reCAPTCHA. That's what I'm using on all of my websites. So I'm comfortable with that. And once that is done, you need to go to all forms. And if we go ahead and create on add new to create a new contact form for this website. So here you can name your form. So I will name it main contact form. And below here, you will get endless options that you can choose from. So you have simple employment application, special sign-up form, and the list goes on and on and on. It's so long that they have to put up these search option here so that you can search for templates. So maybe you can just search for contact form. So here is a simple contact form. So we will use this as our template. 
All right, so this is our main contact form, which was the name given to it. We have the name, last name, email ID, comments or message. And after that, we have this option here, Google reCAPTCHA. So we can click on this. So we will see this pop up. We just need to click on OK. And now we see that Google reCAPTCHA is enabled. So let's go ahead and save this form once. So now we have added Google reCAPTCHA on our form. Let's go to settings. And if we scroll down, we have these two options. Number one, enable anti-spam protection. And we have these two options. One is for Google reCAPTCHA and another one is enable anti-spam protection. And their anti-spam protection also covers the honeypot spam filtering. Now what happens in that is it acts as a honeypot for all these bots and malicious scripts. So it adds a hidden field inside your form which a normal visitor cannot see or fill from the front end. So that is only visible at the back end or in the code. And whenever these bots and these malicious scripts enter your website to fill up your form as spam, and as soon as they fill that hidden field, form system or I should say WP form plugin notes that this is a hidden field. How can a human fill that? So it considers that entry as a spam and it will never send that form through to your inbox. So that's how this Honeypot's anti-spam filtering works and it's working pretty well with my forms. So make sure you turn on both of these options. So all these details are pretty straightforward that you can easily configure. So let's save this form again and let's open the embed option. We will choose a short code. Let's copy this short code and let's edit this page. I will remove this block and I will search for short code block. Here I will paste my short code, then click on update. And if I open that in the front end again, so here is our new form. It got Google reCAPTCHA added here and rest of the things will look like as a normal form. So this is how easy it is to protect spam emails from your contact form on your WordPress website. So go ahead and try WP Forms. It's a pretty amazing plugin. If you want to check out their pro plans, the link is in the description below. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.